Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Friday. It's February the 19th. Now, former presidential candidate Mitt Romney was attacked on a flight out of Vancouver to L.A. earlier this week. Didn't really know many details until now. We know the mystery man who attacked him was a member of LMFAO. His name is Sky Blue, and he says, now this is his version of the story, of course, that he, they were all sitting on the tarmac when he leaned his chair back and hit Mitt Romney, who was sitting behind him. So Mitt, he says, yelled at him, put your seat back up. And when Sky Blue didn't respond, that Mitt reached around and put his hand on Sky's shoulder, and that's when he slapped his hand away. Well, within moments, authorities were on the plane escorting Mr. Blue off. And his friend, um, another bandmate in LMFAO, got the whole thing on tape. So you can look that up if you'd like. Whitney Houston's family is very worried about her. They think she's bitten off a bit more than she can chew. Her body and her voice were pretty much wrecked completely by her drug addiction over the years. But she's trying to do this comeback and a world tour to support it. So she launched it in Seoul, South Korea earlier this month. And they say it was just a mess. She wheezed her way through the show. She was stumbling, tripping over her own feet, sweating profusely. And when she finally walked off stage at the end of the concert, she crumpled like a paper doll, braced herself against a wall and was screaming for water. They think she finally realized at that moment that perhaps she doesn't have the stamina to make this uh, tour all the way through. Now, when Lil Wayne's attorney went to the judge and said, please, can we postpone him going to jail for a couple weeks so he can get some much needed dental work? Ah, was he just making that up just to buy him a few more weeks of freedom? Not the case, because we hear Lil Wayne spent eight hours in the dentist chair on Tuesday getting eight root canals. They say he had to have some dental implants replaced, some new dental implants put in, and a lot of major work done on the real teeth that he does have left in his head. So he is going to be checking in for jail on March 2nd. No more excuses unless he you know, develops some horrible infection, I guess, between now and then. And then he's going to serve a year for that attempted gun uh, possession charge that he had in New York. Could get out after nine months to be a good boy behind bars. Now, behind the scenes drama at New York Fashion Week. That is my dream in life to attend Fashion Week one day. Uh, we'll see. But uh, Pete Wentz was there. He's got a new clothing line, and his wife Ashley was there to support him. They had a huge after party at some restaurant afterwards. Anyway, they say Ashley refused to come out until all the press had cleared out of the room. She did not want her picture to be taken why. And uh, what we hear is they had to uninvite all the media that had been invited in the first place before she would come out. And then to add to that drama, Nicole Richie and Joel Madden are there to come into the party and the PR girl at the front door did not recognize Nicole, gave her the whole who are you, you're not on the list spiel. Well, Joel Madden had to kind of step in and say, well, you know, this is Nicole Richie. She's like a pretty big deal. And of course, the PR firm just went into apology overdrive. Anything we can do to make this better for you, Miss Richie. So anyway, they eventually made it inside. And then she and Joel, Ashley and Pete stayed holed up in a private room for the rest of the night. And then finally, the big news today, of course, we all just ran into an office to watch Tiger Woods' big speech about five minutes long or so, seemed like longer than that if you were watching it, where he apologized for his behavior. Interesting to note that Elon was not there, his wife, but his mom was looking pretty PO'd the whole time. It was a very, you know, bland speech. He apologized for his behavior, says the media should leave his wife and his children alone, begged practically to leave them alone because they did not invite this attention. He did it all himself. He did say, which was a bit of a twist, uh, we found out actually earlier this morning that he's going to go back into rehab for his sexual addiction. He does hope to return to golf one day. He's not going to rule out that he'll return this year, but he can't say exactly when that day is going to be. So that is your Showbiz Top 5 for Friday.